Yo, what up, guys? It's your boy Legendary here. And today, people, we're going to be doing a Utah deck profile uh, using the new support that he got a long while back. I think a couple months back, he got some new support, and I'm finally adding it in here for you guys to see. So we're going to do that. I'm going to update the deck for you guys so you guys could uh, update it yourselves. But yeah, so it's pretty much going to be the same deck for the most part. It's just with the new support. I added some copies of some of the new support and stuff, but we'll get into that. Uh, so let's start by looking at the Phantom Knights. All right, so here are the monster. Here the monster lineup is really not a lot to begin with obviously i'm not adding the link monster by the way that's that's not uh anime exclusive right there that's for competitive play it's not really uh canonical with the arc 5 universe obviously there's no link summoning in that universe so it is what it is but that's fine uh so yeah we're gonna hop into it the first two cards we're gonna start with are the originals uh ancient cloak two ancient cloaks then we have two silent boots and two and two ragged gloves pretty much just two copies of, of the majority of the monsters pretty much uh, the two new support cards the Phantom Knights of Stained Gleaves right no Greaves uh, two copies of him and the Phantom Knights of Torn Scales two copies of him and then we have one globe and helm and an extra one in the side deck and then we have one copy of fragile armor and an extra one in the side deck so pretty much just two of everything is how i laid it out uh and then we have one new support card new monster called raider's wing and uh that card is really good at the very end of the deck profile i'll read what the new card is doing how they help out the deck but for now i'm just going to go straight through all right we're going to be doing phantom knight trap cards we're going to be doing two copies of the phantom knights lost vambrance and two copies of the phantom knight of wrong magnet ring these are basically what become your level two monsters that you're gonna use for your rank two Xyz monsters. So I added two copies of each of those. He doesn't have a full deck by the way, so I have to add multiple copies of, of his monsters in order to make a full deck because he does not have one. He only used three. He actually only used these original three uh, and these are the new support cards that came out and these two came out. Uh, these weren't used in the manga. They were just support cards that came out later in some other sets, but yeah, so I added them in here uh, as well. You can add the other two copies in there if you want, but uh, he mainly just runs a bunch of trap cards. That's how he duels. He's a very trap stall heavy kind of duelist. So he mostly runs a short set of monsters because they all search themselves out uh, by banishing themselves. So it really doesn't matter. And then he just has a bunch of traps to defend himself and annoy his opponent. And that's pretty much how his deck works. I really like his deck a lot. It's really fun. Uh, then we got one copy of Fog Blade. We got one copy of Sword. Uh, we got one copy of Wing, of uh, Phantom Knight's Wing right there. And we have one copy of Mist Claws. This also wasn't used in the anime or the manga, so I added it in here. It helps uh, getting back one of your uh, banished Phantom Knight monsters and it has a graveyard effect as well. Uh, then we have one of the new support card called Raiders unbreakable mind we'll read that card at the very end we're not going to read the new cards right now we'll read that later and then we have the counter trap raid raptors phantom knight claw a nice counter trap um the new support card that that uh yuto got also works with raid raptors so in a future deck profile that will hopefully come out soon i'm going to show you a fusion of yuto and shun's deck together because these cards were meant to kind of work together uh with raid raptors and stuff too but they can work by themselves as well but yeah so i'll do that deck profile uh hopefully very soon but yeah there's a, a, a counter trap we'll read that card later we have two copies of shadow veil and we'll put the third one in the extra deck uh, we have booby trap e right here and then we have escape from the dark dimension which i added for him because he has a lot of banishing in his deck for dark monsters so added that in there to help uh resurrect some of those banished monsters then we're going to be getting into the spell cards. We're going to run the Phantom Knight Spear, one copy, and Phantom Knight's Rank Up Magic Launch, and the Phantom Knight's Rank Up Magic Force. Yes, Magic Force. This is the new support card. We'll read that after. Uh, but very good card, very good card. Next, we got two anime cards. We got the Phantom Knight's Twin Medals. It's an anime card right here. Uh, it's available for you guys. It should be live on Dueling, but for you guys to find it. Uh, but th this entire deck will be in the link in the description anyway for you guys to download it into Duel Links and try out the deck yourself. So it's going to be right there. And then we have one copy of the Phantom Knight's Round Blaze right here. 
<clears throat> and on the side deck, we'll put Rank of Magic, Burial, Phantom Knights. Before, I didn't add it because there wasn't a clear picture. Now we do have it. Um, so I might add it in the main deck somewhere. I don't know where to add it just yet. So just figure it out uh, later on. But yeah, for now, uh, we'll add those two cards in there. So for right now, we'll just add that one card in there in the side deck. All right, so now we got some real cards. All right, we, we'll add one copy of Foolish Burial and one copy of Foolish Burial Goods. Uh, this will help you send your Phantom Knights to the graveyard so that you can banish them to activate their effect. And this sends uh, one of the Phantom Knight spells or traps to the graveyard so you could banish them and use their effect or set up in your graveyard for direct attacks. So both of these cards are very good for the Phantom Knight deck. They both help you set up. So that's why I added them both in there too. Burial from a different dimension is also a good card I'll put in the side deck. Then we have Monster Reborn right here. We have Reinforcement of the Army for Searching. Emergency Provisions, Parallel Twister, and then two anime cards. Then we have Re-Xes right here, and we also have Xyz Treasure. Xyz Treasure right there. Very good. Uh, so now we're just going to quickly get into the extra deck. We're going to start with Dark Rebellion Xyz Dragon, of course. We're going to go with Dark Requiem Xyz Dragon as well, and we're going to also do... Arc Rebellion Xyz Dragon, one of the new support cards. We'll read him in just a moment, but he's very powerful, super busted. Then we have another new Xyz called Raider's Knight, which is a card you can use in both Yuto's deck and in Shun's deck because it's a mix of, of both. It technically looks like a Phantom Knight Monsters, but it also is meant to be a Raid Raptor card as well, so it's very strong. All right, then we have uh, the final two Xyz Monsters, uh, one Breaksword and one Cursed Javelin. And that's pretty much it right there. We're going to quickly get into the side deck, add, add a couple more cards. We have Star Changer. I just added this in there because it could help you manipulate levels by one level. So you could go for a rank 3 or a rank 4 or a rank 5. And that's pretty much all the range you need anyway uh, for the deck for the most part. So there you go. It could also help you go for uh, a level 2 as well if you need to. We like turn a 3 into a 2. We have Star Blast. Also helps for a level manipulation. We have... The Phantom Knight's Possession in here helps you make an Xyz monster into a, a leveled monster instead. So you could go for more Xyz plays from there. Which is an anime card. We already have the extra copy of Shadow Veil vale and Rank Up Magic Burial Phantom Knights. Yeah, so this is pretty much the extra deck right here. Very simple and straightforward. Uh, so now we're going to get into the portion where I talk about the new cards and how they help out Yuto's deck. Okay, so for the new support... Um, it does help out the deck, I would say quite a bit. Really what it does is, at least for me, it gives it more options. The two new Phantom Knight monsters, which is Stained Greaves and uh, Torn Scales, they both do help the deck out, you know, kind of set up your pieces and this and that and go for Xyz plays. So they do help out with that. I would say the more influential cards would be the Xyz monster, which is Raider's Knight and Arc Rebellion. We'll read their effects in a moment, but uh, we'll read the effects of these two first. Uh, so Stained uh, Greaves. Its effect is, if a Phantom Knight's Monsters is special summoned to your field, uh, you can special summon this card from your hand, then increase the level of that card by one. And then you can also banish this card from the graveyard or special summon one Phantom Knight's Monster from your hand, uh, accept this card, and increase its level by one. So it's good. It does two really powerful things. It summons itself, increases its level to four, and then also you can banish it from the graveyard uh, to special summon uh, level three and then increase its level by one. So very good. Then we got Torn Scales. You discard one card as a cost, uh, which is good because it sets up your graveyard so you can banish that card you discarded to search more because that's what the deck does. Send one Phantom Knight's card from your deck to the graveyard except uh, Torn Scales, which is good. That could be spell or trap or monster. Uh, if another Phantom Knight's card in your graveyard is banished while this card is in your graveyard, you can special summon this card but banish it when this leaves the field. Uh, also very powerful effect. Helps you uh, do setups and stuff like that. But um, the the only negative I would say about these cards is I, I don't feel like these two cards worked in synergy together in my opinion. Because And I say that because um, if you just look at um, like Stain Gleaves Special Summons itself. If a Phantom Knight's monster is special summoned to the field um, and it increases its own level by one. Uh, but I wish its second effect was you can uh, target one other Phantom Knight's monster you control and increase that monster's level by one. That way it does the work of, you know, making them both level four and this and that. And this card doesn't really do anything to manipulate levels. He just 
kind of sets stuff up but uh, in my opinion I felt like they could have designed it so they worked well together since they came out as a pair I felt like it should have worked better together those are both these two cards are perfectly fine the way they are separate cards but I felt like it would have been cooler and better if they synergized together and they worked together um, they do work together indirectly because you know you can uh, with this card with torn scales you could send uh, stain grease the graveyard banish it special summon a phantom lights from your hand increase its level by one uh, you could do that but like once again like then you have a level four on the field and then a level three and it's like you get it like it just it doesn't quite work out like it doesn't help you xc's because if you only change the level of one monster then it doesn't quite work work out the same uh the, the good news is with stained leaves you can activate both effects once per turn uh so you can make it a level four and xc's i guess with raider's wing right here and then um and then you can banish uh, this card from the graveyard to special summon another Phantom Knights, increases level by one, and then continue to axe I'm not saying these are bad cards. These are great cards. I just wish they kind of worked better together. But uh, I feel like Stained Gleaves kind of works better with uh, Raid Raptor's Wing. So Raid Raptor's Wing, this card is always treated as a Phantom Knights and Raid Raptor card, so it works in both archetypes always, which is good. If this card is in your hand or graveyard, you could detach one. Xyz material from a dark Xyz monster you control plus summon this card but banish it when it leaves the field so it's good because it, it allows itself to come out but you have to already control an Xyz monster on the field um, in order to do that uh, monster an Xyz monster whose original attribute is dark and has this card's material gains this effect your opponent cannot target it with card effect so it gives it some inherent protection which is good so this card is good for at least the sole fact that um, it's a Phantom Knights and Raid Raptor card which means that they the, all the support cards work with these with this card right here uh, so this is more of an extender like you already have your X's out you detach one of its materials summon it and you know and then use it for material right there uh, so that you can prevent your monster uh, that you're about to actually summon from being targeted so uh, once again I feel like that's really good it's very powerful so all individually great cards I wish these two synergized together but it is what it is then we got the trap card Raiders Unbreakable Mind is a continuous trap this card is always treated as a Phantom Knights Raid Raptor card, which is good, so it's searchable by both archetypes. If you XC summon using a Dark XC's monster as material, so basically when you rank up or you use Raider's Knight, you can target one card on the field and destroy it. So every time you rank up, you can pop something, which is pretty cool. <laughs> as you can see, I think that's Ark, Re no, that's, yeah, that's Ark Rebellion and one of the Raid Raptors, I think Revolution Falcon. So like every time you rank up, Basically, you get to pop something, which is cool. Then, if this face-up card and the spell and trap card is destroyed by a card effect, you can set one rank-up magic spell card directly from your deck or graveyard, which is fantastic. Helps you set up your rank-ups. So, honestly, really good card. Pops every time you rank up. And then, on top of that, you can set some, uh, you know, rank-ups from your deck, which is very powerful. And then, the counter trap, Raid Raptor's Phantom Knight's Claw. When a monster effect is activated, detach one Xyz material from your dark Xyz monster to get the activation. And if you do destroy that card, then if the detached material was a Phantom Knights Raid Raptor or Xyz Dragon card, one Raid Raptor Xyz monster you control gains attack equal to the destroyed monster's original attack. So, uh, actually, hold on, no. Actually, so I, I actually have to take this card out, guys. You guys are probably yelling at me in the screen. I have to take this card out because this is a... Even though this is a support that works with both archetypes, this only works on a Raid Raptor XC's monster, which is weird. It's like, why didn't you go all the way? But it makes sense with the artwork. So sorry guys, this card goes out because you can't really... So I'm not really sure how this works because it doesn't say you can. Um, it just says one Raid Raptor XC's monster you control gains attack. So that's that's the part I'm a little bit um, confused about, honestly. Um, so let me know if that works or not. If not, then just take this card out and replace it for one of the cards in the side deck. I'll probably just add the second, uh, the other rank up because uh, you can never go wrong with more rank ups. So there you go. So I'll just swap that out for now. All right, so then we're going to get into the Xyz monsters, which are powerful. We got Raider's Knight. Uh, it just requires two dark monsters. It's always treated as a Phantom Knight and Raider at their card, so you already know. Detach one material from this card, special summon from your extra deck. One, the Phantom Knights, Raid Raptor, or Xyz Dragon Xyz Monster that's one rank higher or lower than this card. And use this card as material, uh, but destroy it during the ne opponent's next end phase. So it'll pop itself after your opponent's turn, which is fine. 
You can only use this effect once per turn. So this is powerful. You overlay your two level four dark monsters. It could be a raid wrap, a level four raid raptor, and a level four phantom lights, or vice versa, or mixed. It doesn't matter. And then you could either rank up or rank down into any one of those monsters. Um, so then you would uh, do this and rank up into your rank five, and you can go straight into Arc Rebellion Xyz Dragon. This Xyz Summon card cannot be destroyed by card effects, so it's already strong right off the bat. You can attach one material from this card. This card gains attack equal to the total original attack of all other monsters on the field. Then, if this card has a dark Xyz monster attached to it as material, negate the effects of all other face-up monsters on the field. After this effect resolves, you cannot declare attacks with other monsters for the rest of the turn. You can only use this effect once per turn. Very busted effect, guys. This card is just in, it's just in nasty. It's insane. He has inherit protection right off the bat. And then on top of that, you can attach a material to gain a bunch of attack for all your opponent's monsters. Not even your opponent's monsters, all monsters on the field. And, but it, it, it does their original attack only, which is fine. But yeah, that's insane and it negates all their effects. So that's so busted. Honestly, this card is ridiculous. You don't even need to use Dark Rebellion to rank up. You can just use Raider's Knight, rank up into Arc Rebellion gain a bunch of attack and negate everything and he can't be destroyed by card effects and then if you have raider's wing attached to it he also can't be targeted uh with card effects so extremely busted guys but yeah uh that's pretty much the new support right there it's uh pretty fun pretty uh great deck right there honestly very powerful the new support does kind of help just fill out the deck mostly um and helps you xc summon a little bit better uh but for the most part the best part of this is Arc Rebellion and Raider's Knight because they work well together and uh, Arc Rebellion is just busted. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this deck profile. Have fun using Yuto's new supports. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, test out this deck. Download the deck in the description below if you want to use Yuto's deck. Upload it into Dueling Book. Use it against your friends. It's a lot of fun. Highly uh, recommended. But anyway, guys, I love you guys. God bless you guys. See you guys in the next video. Gotcha.